up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck and suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 toyota tundra 1794 edition courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because 1794 edition actually commemorates the founding of the texas ranch that's located in san antonio where they currently produce the tundra so they kind of named it after the land which is a pretty cool story there so you got a ton of western style accenting in this thing we'll be touching on that of course you also get two years or 25,000 miles of complimentary maintenance and that's really for all toyotas but that's still pretty cool so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be several different configurations for the 2023 tundra 1794 edition so essentially you're starting at fifty nine thousand four hundred and sixty dollars for the four by two crew max the five and a half foot bed and then it can go up to sixty two thousand seven hundred ninety dollars for the four by four crew max with a six and a half foot bed so a couple different configurations there but nonetheless power plant on the 1794 edition is going to be the same powering the beast is a 3.4 liter twin turbo v6 putting out 389 horsepower at 5200 rpm 479 pound feet of torque coming in at 2400 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through toyota's four-wheel drive system of course power sent to the ground through a 10-speed automatic zero to 60 time actually coming in at an impressive 5.7 seconds we'll do a little acceleration test here in a little bit but mpg numbers then coming in at 18 in the city 23 in the highway for the rear wheel drive 17 city 22 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive but believe it or not Toyota recommends regular unleaded fuel, which is kind of impressive because you would think with a twin turbo V6, it'd be premium. But anyways, I like it. So before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the Tundra that I wanted to mention to you guys, the drive mids is a circular dial located directly behind the shifter. That's gonna give you drive mids like eco, sport, normal, and tow and haul mode, essentially adjusting things like the shift points and the throttle response. So now having got all of that out of the way, I'm actually gonna stop. I'm gonna get some gas real quick because we got uh, two miles left till empty. And uh, then we're gonna do a quick little acceleration test and we'll see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, let's do it here. Off we go. Hey, buddy. Holy cow. That's impressive. All right, this thing is actually dang quick. I didn't expect it because this is kind of a mammoth of a truck. But uh, yeah, acceleration is quite great in this thing. You're not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. Dare I say, you might even actually be able to have a little bit of fun in the Tundra. That was a, a very impressive acceleration, so I'm digging it. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.9 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 easier stopping distance goes, it was we are kind of coming up to a stop here. It's 143 feet. As far as braking fuel goes, it's a little bit on the softer side, if I'm being honest, but it's pretty much as expected for a truck of this size. You're definitely not gonna stop on a dime, but it's not bad. It's, it's probably something that wouldn't bother me. But anyways, the touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, coil spring multi-link rear suspension, off-road suspension with Bilstein shocks that goes for $2,105. And there is an advanced package that goes for $2,995 that gives you an adaptive variable suspension, which essentially monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best to both worlds so i'm definitely a big fan of that we actually do have that today so when i'm going over things like a speed bump right here it's it's really not that bad so it's it's almost it's probably the best you can get adaptive variable suspensions are going to give you that so big fan of that so essentially what i'm trying to say is when it comes to ride quality it's been perfectly fine definitely not going to have any issues there as far as steering feel goes it kind of leads on the heavier side of things which i'm a big fan of so do like the weight of the steering it gives you better driver feedback when it's a heavier feel as opposed to a looser steering feel so big fan of that touching on cabin noise we're going 55 miles per hour right now i'll let you guys be the judge of that but certainly not too bad there did want to also mention though an acoustic laminated front windshield is going to come standard on the tundra so that's certainly going to assist with uh, less cabin noise coming in here so i like that touching on visibility i can see pretty darn good out the back it pretty much looks like every other truck out there when it comes to rear visibility so not going to have any issues there either rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on the tundra 
dangerous. So what that is, is essentially it's going to detect any kind of mist or rainfall. It's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So it's just one less thing you gotta worry about there. So nice little convenience feature. And there is an optional 10 inch color head up display that I'm currently looking at right now. It's gonna project your speed, speed limit and safety features up on your windshield. So better helps assist with forward visibility, ugh, forward visibility there as well but anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 toyota tundra 1794 edition all right so here she is you guys the new 2023 toyota tundra finished in wind chill pearl in case you were curious of our exterior color name but let's go ahead and start as always as to where this thing is made the vin number starts with a five therefore this thing is actually made in the u.s as i mentioned at the very beginning of the video so let's go ahead and start up front on the tundra here front grille is shared with the platinum trim level for the 1794 here so it's going to look pretty similar to that very very masculine looking front end here so i do like like that finished in kind of a brushed aluminum finish you actually do get active grill shutters as well meaning the shutters are going to open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time so that is pretty cool i do like the tundra lettering found in kind of the bottom portion of that front grill it's going to be finished in chrome i showed that last year on the limited trim level that i reviewed as well so that is pretty cool i like seeing that there do you also get led fog lights kind of integrated into the grill design they're going to be found at the very bottom kind of portion of the grill there so that is pretty cool so i like how they kind of integrated it there you can hardly even tell that they are fog lights so kind of cool to the sides led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights of course you get the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark and at night headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there also though you get automatic high beams so essentially when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically then bounce it back up to high beams that is pretty darn cool as well and there is some additional ventilation kind of found right under the headlights as well so that is an opening there so I do want to mention that but anyways it pretty much rounds out the front end very masculine very aggressive looking front end just like last year so let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now since we are around to the side of this one let me first start with there is a gloss black a pillar that does come standard you guys can probably see that there chrome belt line molding also coming standard rear privacy glass yet again but the one thing where the 1794 edition really differentiates itself between the other trim levels of the tundra here is the the trim level badging typically is found on the rear doors for other trim levels but with the 17 1794 edition you're actually going to get that trim level badging found on the front doors i'll get up a little cl closer here so you guys can see it but it does say 1794 edition you got the uh kind of the texas star down there as well and that's kind of surrounded by a chrome finish so that looks pretty darn good i like that when it comes to the side mirrors they are power adjustable they are chrome finished so that is pretty cool as well i can see myself in it they are heated they're auto dimming you get integrated turn signals they're power folding they got the reverse tilt down feature as well so really it doesn't get any better when it comes to features on the side mirrors there they take a look down to the wheel setup that's going to come in at 20 inches and they are a machine finished alloy wheel so i love the look of them they actually really look good and i like the kind of the gray finish surrounding the uh, fender surrounds there too don't want to leave that out but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile so now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of this one on that um lift gate handle there you do have the toyota lettering spelled out horizontally and that's going to be finished in chrome you got the tundra lettering spelled out on the lift gate itself that looks pretty darn good also have some chrome accenting found on the bottom portion there you do get four and seven pin connectors you guys can see that to the left of the license plate there when it comes to max towing capacity for the four x four crew max with a five and a half foot bed that's where you're going to find your max there eleven thousand fifty pounds pounds so in case you were curious about that do want to also mention though towards the bottom here you do have a little tailgate step there that can release to help you get in there and there is a single exhaust outlet to the side now the chrome finish doesn't come standard but uh yeah that looks pretty darn good but as always i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here is that exhaust clip <gasps> So but now since we are around to the back of the Tundra, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, there is a tailgate release bump switch on the driver's side taillight. That is the coolest way to go ahead and open it up. But there is a button on the key fob. And of course there's the actual lever on the tailgate itself, but the bump switch 
and the tail light, that is the 007 way. But anyways, once opened up, again, bed size is gonna come in at either five and a half feet or six and a half feet, your choice. I reviewed the six and a half foot last year in case you wanted to take a look. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one. Max payload capacity comes in at 1,665 pounds. There's a deck rail system, of course, back there with four adjustable tie down cleats. There's an aluminum reinforced composite bed. That was pretty cool. Integrated LED lighting back there as well. And to my surprise, I actually found a 120 volt power outlet back there. I loved seeing that. You never know when you're going to have to use that. But anyway, so then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 41.6 inches, which is actually very impressive. And by the way, the 1794 edition only comes in crew max form. So there's no double cab or anything else. So wanted to mention that, but 41.6 inches for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. But rear seats, of course, in typical truck fashion, they are 60, 40 flip up bench seats. So they do flip up for some extra added storage there and by the way rear under seat storage does come standard here so that's pretty cool rear ventilation of course back there there are rear usb charging ports there's yet again another 120 volt power outlet so that's wonderful storage back there rear center armrest with cup holders as expected but these are two things though that surprised me on it really you don't see this that much on a truck there's rear window sunshade so i guess if you have kids back there or you're just a, a vampire or something you got rear window sunshade so that's pretty cool and heated and ventilated rear seats coming standard on the 1794. So that's wonderful. Usually a lot of times you'll find heated rear seats optional, but you won't find the ventilated rear seats. They're usually reserved for the front passenger so, or front seat. So that's pretty cool. I absolutely love that. But then making our way up to the front seats, 10-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard. Did want to also mention we got power thigh extensions, which is pretty nuts as well. Leather finish coming standard. Memory settings, of course, that can be found on the driver's side door there for up to two different drivers. And heated and ventilated front seats, of course, since the rear seats are the same thing. So overall seating was 100% perfectly comfortable. I didn't have any issues there. Seats are plenty adjustable, so you really shouldn't. But let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping it is actually power adjustable so that is pretty cool as well and it is leather wrapped and i love the thicker bolsters on both the 10 and 2 and also i guess you could call it the six o'clock is so thick of a bolster 100 love that and the steering wheel is actually heated then as well for super cold days in western maryland like today so then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your uh, all of your buttons are located on one side of the key toyota logo is at the bottom lock unlock and that button to pop the rear tailgate there but it is all keyless entry with the push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button kind of located just by the driver's right knee then and so once started up one of the best parts about the 1794 full 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster coming standard so i absolutely freaking love that and so of course it's going to show a drive mode that you adjust it to it's going to show you a uh, boost pressure on the right that's pretty cool you're going to have your tachometer front and center digital speedometer within that how many miles you have left until you hit empty so we're actually below zero right now it just says refuel at this point <laughs> so interesting and of course there are steering wheel mounts controls found on the left side of the steering wheel where you can adjust between a bunch of different other things as well uh, so digital gauges are wonderful you can really customize it so big fan of them then make our way to overall interior quality a panoramic roof does come standard led interior lighting does come standard there's american walnut wood grain interior trim i absolutely love that that's found in the doors as well as just above the passenger side glove box auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for up to three different garage doors love that as well wireless phone charger coming standard that's located just in front of the cup holders it's charging up my phone right now dual zone climate control also coming standard and as far as the interior quality goes there's like a three-tone theme going on here you got your dark brown you got your light leather you got kind of this black just blow it all in the uh, passenger side glove box it's contrast stitching everywhere and a lot of brown colors so it's really that western theme that i was telling you guys about at the beginning one of my favorite parts is the 1794 edition engraved into that walnut trim found above the passenger side glove box there that's a very very nice touch the armrest on both of the doors as well as the back doors too actually i just noticed that it's super thick so it's really comfortable to just rest your arm there i'm a big fan of that as well just in front of the shifter you have an electromechanical parking brake there's uh your wireless phone charger like i said 
dual cup holders. And within the center armrest, there is an absolute ton of space. You have a USB charging port, USB-A and USB-C actually, a couple of coin slots in there, and a bunch of compartmentalized storage. And there's a little bit of storage just underneath of the, the walnut portion of that center armrest as well. So what I'm trying to say is interior quality is dang near perfect, especially for a truck. Like you never see this in a truck. But anyways, then make our way to the infotainment screen, 14 inch color touchscreen display desk come standard, Bluetooth and audio streaming with that Android Auto Apple CarPlay but not just Android Auto Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay so there's no cables needed so like that you can check out your driving statistics up there and of course your radio information as well and so when it comes to the sound system there is a 12 speaker JBL sound system that comes standard that comes with a subwoofer and an external amp so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one That's insane. Bass was crazy. Bass is insane on this freaking JBL sound system we have here in the Tundra. Clarity was perfectly fine as well. That's an incredible sound system for the Tundra without a doubt. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the Tundra in reverse, you will find your rear view camera coming standard, but you will also get that panoramic view monitor there to the right, letting you know what is completely all around you. There's several different views you can check out as well here. So there's a little tailgate view where you can check on your cargo in the back if you wanted to, to make sure it's not flying out and hitting the people behind you. There's your side mirrors view there's a kind of a front view as well there's so many different views you could choose to display so i absolutely love that it's probably the best screen i've seen with that many different cameras besides maybe a tesla so wonderful anyways that is going to bring us into safety and so this is where it really gets good iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs that pretty much says it all right there and that makes this the safest truck in existence if i remember correctly because i know the f-150 isn't an iihs top safety pick plus i know the silverado isn't i know the ram 1500 isn't so this thing is incredibly safe is what I'm trying to get at. Front side, side current airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. That's going to give you a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Full speed dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, automatic high beams, road sign assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and front and rear parking sensors and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts like i just said this is the safest truck currently available today so like i said ihs top safety pick plus that beats all the competition also excellent tech on this thing which trucks are traditionally not known for so you got the full digital gauge cluster you got a massive 14 inch infotainment screen the tech on this is absolutely wonderful great interior quality this is a 1794 edition after all you got authentic wood trim you have contrast stitching and leather finishes it's wonderful plenty of power zero to 60 in less than six seconds in a truck of this size is incredible tailgate release button in the tail light i think that is so sticking cool as well really the only thing i could think of to really perfect this truck and maybe this isn't even needed but multicolor ambient lighting i think that look, would look dang good in this thing as well but anyways that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, this is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.